All rise from the jury, please. Caused a motor, ve motor vehicle operated by said defendant to collide with another motor vehicle occupied by Nancy Sterling Dalton, which caused the death of Nancy Sterling Dalton. What is your plea to count one murder? <clears throat> what is your plea to count two intoxication and blood? Throughout this trial, you're going to hear why the DWI is a murder. You're going to hear of the bad driving. Weaving into the shoulder, weaving in lanes, going into oncoming traffic. And then, about 7.50, that's when he drove into oncoming traffic, hit Nancy Sterling Dalton head on, and killed her. When does a DWI become a murder? Well, all the evidence in this case is going to tell you what that is. The evidence will show that there was a horrible accident. This retard left his lane of travel the to show. Collided with a vehicle driven by Mrs. Stahl, causing her death. The only thing that's going to be relevant in this case is his demeanor and whether or not he was intoxicated at the time of the accident, at the time he's alleged to have operated the vehicle. <clears throat> the evidence is going to show a sober person that Jason was. Did not appear intoxicated, did not sound intoxicated, and no odor according to the officer. The only time it became a suspicion of intoxication case was when the officers ran Jason's criminal history and found that he had two prior DWIs. Yes, Jason crossed his lane of travel. He was driving back. He struck her vehicle and it caused her death. The evidence is going to show that it was not intoxication that caused Jason to leave his lane of travel. It was something else causing his inattentiveness and his bad driving. 